and fruitful career and now you want to give back to others and help others and the best way to do that is to become a coach if this is the leading reason for you to decide to become a coach then i invite you to pause and reflect for a moment and consider a few points i invite you firstly to be mindful of the way you are using the words like giving back and help in your inner dialogue there is also a lot of noise on social media there are advertisements that say that if you are expert in some field then you should become a coach and that kind of messaging is not helpful so please give me a few minutes and uh, think about the points that i am sharing firstly is there a sense that over the years i have acquired experiences and learnings and that is what i am going to share with others as a coach if that's the case then please know that coaching is not about sharing your own experiences and learnings with your clients your experience and wisdom can be an asset in being a good coach but the essence of coaching is in letting the client find their own wisdom and the coach's prior work experience itself is not needed during the coaching session this is different from when you are a teacher trainer or a mentor where your experiences and qualifications are directly applicable and directly beneficial for those receiving it you should also see if by saying that i have experienced enough and i have achieved a lot and now i want to give back are you putting yourself at a higher platform than the people you hope to coach if so bear in mind that coaching relationship is a professional relationship where the coach is regarded as an equal not superior it is a partnership with the client if a coach enters a coaching session with a mindset that i am going to give something to the client from my experience then coaching will not work at its best there is a risk that it may block curiosity of the coach or undermine the client's agency and autonomy in creating their own insights also remember that the person you are coaching might be highly experienced and a high achiever they could even be more experienced than you if you are thinking that i want to become a coach because i want to help others that's another thought you may want to examine closely the instinct to be of help to others is ingrained in many professions a doctor helps patients recover from disease for example all charity and not for profit work a lot of social enterprises they all have the instinct to help ingrained in them similarly the urge to be of help is a useful trait in coaching you cannot be an effective coach if you are not interested in the welfare of others to put it simply however just don't let this be the urge which is driving you towards the profession because it is ultimately a service and a professional service which you are providing to a client who is paying you for that yes it is a highly personalized service but it is not personal helping someone is personal you also need to be mindful that saying i want to help can easily be self serving when i say that i am here to help i am being humble but i am also saying or thinking that i have something that you do not have i can do something for you that you cannot do yourself the fundamental premise of coaching is that the client is complete capable and has agency over their choices if there is this mindset behind helping then you are somewhat eroding that premise of coaching and it also disturbs your presence during a coaching session so these thoughts of giving back out of my experience and learnings uh, helping others are some reasons why a lot of coaches say that they find it hard to stop themselves from advising their client during coaching because that's the context with which they are entering the coaching session in conclusion it is great that you want to embark on a coaching career after having a great career in some other field and you want to do it because you want others to benefit from you or through you you have a good heart where you want to see others flourish my invitation is to consider the points that i just mentioned so that you enter this field with a mindset where you are best placed to be an effective coach you are fully present in the service of the client and you don't have the urge to advise or consult during a coaching session instead of thinking of it as a helping profession a more sustainable approach is to think of it as a people development profession it requires its own learnings and unlearnings happy coaching mm-hmm.